Hello, my name is Nicholas Cohen. I'm a family doctor, and I'm here to share with parents of six-year-olds some tips for taking care of six-year-olds. So these are my top 10 tips for taking care of six-year-olds. Tip number one is to have your child see a doctor. Have a six-year-old checkup. At this checkup, it's important for your doctor to check the growth, vision, hearing, as well as to make sure that your child is up, up to date with all immunizations. Tip number two is to make sure your child eats healthy. It's easier to have a healthy diet if you focus on having three meals a day. Breakfast is a very important meal, especially for school performance. With each meal, make sure that your child is eating fruits and vegetables for a goal of five servings of fruits and vegetables each day. Focus on having more whole grains and less processed foods. So for instance, whole grain bread would be better than plain bread. And try to eliminate any refi refined sugars such as that found in soda. It's also important for your child to have adequate calcium. Children aged four to eight years old need about two cups of low fat milk each day. Low fat being better than whole milk because it has less saturated fat. And you can substitute low fat yogurt or cheese instead of low fat milk. Tip number three is to make sure your child is getting at least 60 minutes of exercise each day. This is not something that they have to do all at once but should accumulate throughout the day for a total of 60 minutes. Tip number four is to limit television watching. Your child should be watching no more than two hours of television per day. And cutting back on television is also a great way to encourage physical activity. Tip number five is check up on your, school, your child's school performance. If your child is not doing well in school, let your doctor know. There are many resources that are available through the state or through the community that can help your child during this fundamental and important entry into their school. Tip number six is dental health. Your child should be seeing a dentist two times a year for routine checkups and cleanings. Your child should also be brushing twice a day with a fluoride containing toothpaste and should be flossing once a day. Tip number seven is safety. Make sure your child wears a helmet when they're biking or rollerblading or skateboarding. Make sure your child does not cross the street alone. Make sure your child always rides in the back seat and when they're in a car is are wearing a is in a booster seat or a, sa or a safety seat. And make sure you have smoke, detector, smoke detectors installed in all rooms of your ho house, as well as carbon monoxide detectors installed in all hallways. Tip number eight is to prevent sexual abuse. This is best done by teaching your child that it's never okay for anyone to show his or her private parts and to ask or for anyone to ask your child to show them their private parts. For anyone to touch your child there or to ask you or to ask your child not to let your your parents know anything. It's not okay for another adult to tell your child to keep a secret from you as their parent and this is an important lesson to teach children. Teach your children that if someone does do any of these things, that's important to get away from that person as quickly as possible and to tell their parent or another adult right away. Tip number nine is to encourage good behavior. Routines at this age are very important. Family routines create a sense of safety and security for the child. Remember what routines you enjoyed as a child and try to create them for your child. Also, listen to and respect your child and assign chores to your child and expect them to be done. Chores can promote a sense of responsibility for your child and make them feel like they're an important part of the family. And the last tip, tip number 10, is to believe in yourself. If you're committed to being a good parent, you absolutely can be a good parent. So I hope you benefit from this advice and good luck with parenting. Thank you very much.